Going into this one is group two that's going to be presenting their senior design project. This will represent the last two semesters of work. Team two, whenever you guys are ready, please start. Thank you. Hi guys, we're the Trop Bikes team, and this is our presentation on our unique portable mountain bike design. I'm Victor McDaniel. I'm Sam Saleh. I'm Cassie Rosa. I'm Araceli Rostro. And I'm Sarah Alamanda. Sarah will tell you guys about the motivation for our project. Thank you, Victor. Now, I'm sure many of you guys face issues trying to put your bike into the back of a car trunk and deal with this inconvenience every time you want to take your bike out for a car ride. That's what Trump Bikes is here for. If embraced by society, bicycles are a vehicle that can help alleviate issues such as space consumption, pollution, and resource use. TROP's motivation began off with market research. In 2015, the U.S. market sold 17 million bikes, 12.5 million of them being 20 inch and above bicycles. Now, due to their bulky and rigid structure, many commuters struggle to carry and store their bikes. The idea of having a design that consumes a middle amount of space and is convenient for daily usage is what motivated the TROP Bikes team of engineers to design a unique, separable mountain bicycle that can be easily assembled and disassembled without the need of tools. We also noticed a high market for bike carriers such as bike racks, soft cases, and hard cases. When considering our own design, we decided to include our own carrier for more portability. Now this is TROP's main competitor, the Ritchie Breakaway Bike. As you can see, the bike cost you over $3,000, and that does not include the carrier, which is an additional $300. These are existing portable systems in the market today, such as separable and foldable mechanisms. Now here's a list of Trop Bikes design and customer requirements. To ensure safety, we decided to include our own third party to witness the manufacturing process of Trop Bikes. The retail price is $582, considering the fact that it's high quality material and in the affordable range an average bike user would spend. The package carry dimensions are 5.68 cubic feet, which fits accordingly with an average compact trunk size of 11.5 cubic feet. Now the bike has seven removable parts, which require two minutes to assemble and two minutes to disassemble. The package bike weight is 38.6 pounds, which stays with an airline baggage policy of 50 pounds. And lastly, we chose Cromoly steel due to its high ductility, strength, and importantly, easy working. In the next few slides, we'll show you how we designed, manufactured, validated, built, and tested a prototype of our frame separation bike, and in addition to that, a period to facilitate transport and storage. Sam now discuss the material selection. Thank you. We had to consider many aspects to come up with our material selections. Weight, strength, and cost of the frame were a big factor of our design consideration. We wanted to make sure that the frame can resist any forces to avoid bending and maintain the lightest weight possible. After testing three different materials, steel, aluminum, and chromoly, we chose chromoly to be the best fit for our design due to its mechanical properties. We went through many different designs to come up with our unique separation systems. Our goal was to find the simplest way possible to separate a full-size mountain bike without the need of any tools. We started our design by creating a sketch and built it to a prototype using PVC pipes. <clears throat> and after we felt confident with our design, we proceeded to, fill, to build our final product. This is one of many assembly drawings showing the four locations of the cuts that separate the frame in pieces. And this is one of many part drawings showing the welded tube that uh, holds the frame together. The welded tube has an outer diameter, matches the inner diameter of the frame, which is slides into the other end of the frame that has a slit cut and connects by a clamp. It is easy, simple, and does not require any tools to assemble. Our design uses four standard proven quick release bicycle clamps. They were chosen based on their material strength, durability, rust resistance, and weight. They're simple and easy to use. In addition, our bicycle also has foldable pedals to further conserve space. These are the parts of our mechanism, and now that you've seen them, we will show you guys the videos of the disassembly, of the assembly and the disassembly process for our bicycle. This is the assembly video. The actual time it takes him is about a minute and 30 seconds. Somebody without experience should take about two to three minutes to assemble the bicycle.
Next, we'll show you the disassembly. It also takes him a minute and 30 seconds to disassemble the bicycle. After you do it a few times, you should be able to improve your time down to two to, to a minute and 30 seconds. After disassembling the bicycle, we're left with all these pieces. These pieces are hard to carry by hand. For this reason, we chose to include a carrier with our bicycle. And this is our carrier. Here you can see an early concept drawing of it, and next to it is the completed product. It was designed to be affordable and able to fit into compact car trunks. These are hard cases designed for 26 inch and above bicycles. As you can see, they are large, heavy, rigid, and expensive. Each weighing over 30 pounds is already the weight of the bicycle itself. This is a hassle. For this reason, we chose to include a soft, ca soft case carrier with our bicycle. Our carrier is made of 600D heavy duty polyester and was modified with um, duct canvas, wheel slots, and a polycarbonate board so that it would be able to withstand the weight and sharpness of a bicycle. With these modifications, the dimensions of the bag are 28 inches by 26 inches by 15 inches, and the bag weighs a total of 6 pounds. The next, we'll show you a comparison to a 26 inch folding bike and a 20 inch folding bike. As you can see, are the, it's smaller than a 26 inch folding bike and is uh, about the same size, is very competitive with 20 inch folding bikes. And it's, it's lighter than the 26 inch bike. And uh, now we'll show you what it looks like in some, some trunks. Here it's in the back of a Kia Forte. As you can see, there's still space left over. And next to it is a Mini Cooper, which is a much smaller trunk and it fits very snugly in there. And now that you guys have seen how the bicycle and carrier work, I'm gonna pass it on to Araceli who will explain to you guys the design validation process. Thank you, Victor. So a uh, static analysis was performed for our, a conventional and trap spike frame to show the difference between the conventional frame and the trap frame. So here, as you can see, there's a 200-pound um, uh, force applied to the uh, conventional frame showing uh, we distributed the load on the handlebar and then to the stem of the seat showing the maximum force that's located on the back of the frame. On this uh, picture here, you see uh, the 200 pound force only on the stem of the seat, showing the maximum stress located on the pedal axle. This next slide shows the maximum stress on the frame for the, tr for the trot frame. As you can see here, the, the maximum stress is located on the bottom bar on the cut. And um, on this uh, particular case, we did it on the stem of the seat and it's also uh, located on the pedal axle, just like the conventional frame. Uh, we wanted to show you, uh, give you a close look of, what, uh, of the conventional frame and the trot frame. So I wanna focus on the trot frame. Here, we, uh, we uh, based on results, we got a maximum von Mises uh, stress of 48.29 megapascals. Since our uh, material yield strength for Carmoli steel is 435 megapascals, we felt uh, confident that uh, it can hold our, mecha our mechanism. So here, we wanted to show you also the uh, mesh analysis we did on the frames. Uh, this shows the stress concentrations. And here, uh, we just wanted to show the, that it, it'll depict a exaggeration of the uh, displacement of the frame. So that's all this means. And uh, we, Perform a design validation by um, applying our hand calculation of the stress formula. We, we did it on two different locations. On this picture you see here, shows only on this area here, which we applied the, the formula and we got close to the same uh, matching results as it is right here in this area as you can see. I hope you guys can see that. On this um, hand calculation, it's the same calculation as previously shown, but on a different location of the frame. This is located on one of the clamps. This red area here just shows that it's the maximum stress here. Doesn't mean that it's a, a failure or anything like that. So um, 
based on our results, we felt we validated our FDA. So we felt comfortable uh, continuing forward with our testing. So Casimir will talk to you more in details about our testing and um, our cost analysis as well. Thank you very much, Arsoli. Okay, so for the testing, we carried out multiple outdoor tests on the bike. Sorry. We carried out multiple outdoor. We carried out multiple outdoor tests. On, sorry about that. We carried out multiple outdoor tests on the bike to ensure the integrity of the frame and the mechanism. I and my colleagues took turns riding the bike through different rocky terrains in the Memorial City Park. Uh, you can see here one of our colleagues is riding the bike up through different uh, elevations and through different uh, places for approximately six miles. And uh, after the test was concluded, we did not observe any kind of structural issues or deformities with the bike or the frame, therefore validating the design and the integrity of our frame. And this is just a quick breakdown of the cost for our project. And so you can see the prototype cost of 481.52. Now, if we were to mass produce our bike, uh, it will cost us 240.38. Uh, and once we take into account marketing, shipping, uh, and profit and production costs, we come to a retail value of 582. Now, I want to stress that at this price point, this is one of the lowest prices that you will find in the foldable mountain bike market today. Uh, this price includes the bike and the bag together, not separate. So we designed this product from ground up to be safe, affordable, and durable, and I believe that we've been able to hit those marks. And this is just a quick picture of the final two products, the bag and the bike. And as far as future considerations, we're gonna be doing more testing, vibration testing on the clamps, on the, the frame to ensure the life cycle of the clamps. This is just a quick picture of the trial guys team, and that concludes our presentation today. Thank you very much. I have a question. Who was it in the video that assembled and disassembled the bike? That was you? Yes, sir. So you can do it in one uh, minute and a half? One minute and a half, and then disassemble it takes about the same time, yeah. Is that the bike? Yes. Get out time? <laughs> Go ahead. Put you on the clock. <laughs> While he's doing that, did you guys take an existing bike and just chop it up? I mean, tell me about the how it all came together. I mean, did you forge those parts yourself? And go. Uh, we modified an existing bike. Yeah, so we took it to a machine shop. Uh, but we connected they, this, so I need to disconnect that. We, we took it to a machine shop to make sure we got a straight cut and it wasn't like a I need to take this one off. Do you have like a photo or something? How'd you decide where you want to cut it? Uh, that was uh, based on, yeah, based on the FDA. So we tried different areas we, to, to make sure that the stresses will not affect the frame. So after multiple tests on the FDA, we decided that uh, approximately two inches away, because so one and a half inches away, that's the perfect spot to. Well, uh, can you hold it, please? Presentation hasn't happened. Any other questions? Thank you. Thanks. As a customer buying this bike, what is my greatest fear? The, the clamps failing. The clamps failing. See, when you're trying to sell this to just a random person, the FBA is fine. That's all well and good, but there is one thing that I, when I was looking at your presentation, there was one thing I was hoping to see that I didn't see. What I would really like to see is a mechanical test. Like I'm always remembered to the uh, example of uh, the, when the, uh, the famous elevator, like when they uh, Otis elevators, when they were selling the first elevator, there was a great big presentation where the guy standing on the elevator would cut the cable and watch the safety uh, mechanism go into effect and all this kind of stuff. So what I would like to see is. I would like to see you do a tensile test, one a solid bar and the other with the uh, with your clamp system and show that it is ideally stronger. I, you know, if I was going to sell a bike like that, I would want my connection system to be stronger than just the solid bar. I would design it like that if possible. Or I would like to see both a bending test and a tension test. And so if you can show that to me, I'll have absolute confidence 
that this thing is strong enough because uh, you can show me all the FBA you want, but I don't know what kind of assumptions are baked into your model. Show me a show me a video or show me a picture. Okay, the solid bar to help this many pounds of load and the clamp system held yeah, even more. If you do that, I will have no uh, problem. So I can disconnect this. That's something I really like. So I can take that. Yeah. So we did. Uh, uh, we were actually trying to find uh, where we can do pull tests on the exactly to show that. Yeah, because we zip tied it by, by the wires. Okay. So we hold it in place. So I can just. Yeah, we'll gotcha. That, that's, that's good enough. And then it can sit right there. Oh, like that. Oh, so it's a good place. Gotcha. Yeah, there's a tight one. But the zip ties is a... Uh, it's just starting to be in that case. I have a question. Yes. Well, I have two, two things to add. The first thing is that, she, like, one of the things that you need to consider when you're trying this bike is the element of safety, right? So in your pictures, when you were testing the bike, nobody was wearing a helmet. And that's really important. When you just keep this into consideration, when you keep moving forward, everything that you do, you have to consider the element of safety into it. So, uh, but then the other question that I had is, so you mentioned at the beginning that bikes can be a very useful transportation mechanism, right? And, and that's something that you really want to encourage by making it disassembly or being able to disassemble it and then carry it around, right? But it's about 40 pounds, right? When when you put everything in, in the bag yeah. and with you want to... With the bag? It weighs yeah. 38 pounds. Without the bag, it weighs 32 pounds. Right. It's like so really sure. So um, do you consider any other... Or, I mean, I, I'm sure you consider it, but do you have any input as to how you can incorporate lighter materials so then this could really be a bike that I can just put on my on my arm and then walk with it wherever I want to take it or... So uh, we, the reason we chose chromoly steel was because if we chose a steel frame, it was heavier than chromoly. Sure. So we that's the reason we went with that sure. particular uh, material and also if we went with aluminum, it's more expensive. So yeah. we wanted to try sure. to prove our, our mechanism first before we went on and started moving mm -hmm. to a, a more expensive material such as aluminum frame or uh, carbon steel. Mm -hmm. That's more expensive. But yes, of course, we did we did okay. consider that and we want to. Mm -hmm. uh, any other questions? Yes. What was your design load again? Uh, 200 pounds. Oh, no, the, the whole? No, the design load on your FBA. Yes. 200 pounds? 200 we considered pounds. Uh, 100, 200, 300. Okay. Um, what was your factor safety? Uh, we have that on our, but we have it on our report, a fee report. I can. Okay, but there's factor safety. Yes. Over there? Okay. Yes. Okay. It actually uh, on the static analysis, it does show you the like it shows the body says the principal stress, the uh, second principal stress, and then it shows you the safety factors as well. Did you do a dynamic analysis? No dynamic analysis. Okay, because that's what I'm. What, this is a mountain bike. Right. And so this is not a beach cruiser where somebody's going to, you know, slowly pedal along on the perfectly flat ground. I'm worried about a, maybe a 300 pound guy. Um, what happens if a 300 pound guy jumps it off a four foot hill? Or a little, a little, a little rise. Jumps it down and you have a bigger guy and it lands and then you have all of that dynamic amplification. Think about that. So, so how do you guys go about disconnecting the brake the brake lines? We, we tied it with the zip ties, but we disconnected it from here. It's a quick release to disassemble right here, and then with the quick release from the wheels, and then it just comes right out. Just how you see it on the video. But we connected it here. We really tied it. So we tied it. We have to lose it. Does anybody else have any other questions? Or, maybe we can, or any feedback? Maybe we can take consideration in the future. I just want to add, I think your presentation was really good. I like yes. the, the enthusiasm and then the eye contact. That's really important, yeah. right? And it follows a story. So that's what you want to do when you're introducing a presentation. You want to follow a story and you want to connect with your audience. So I think that was really, really Thank well you. done. Thank you. Thank you. Just one more little thing. I was seeing that you, during the presentation, touch the that prototype with the, the pipes or show the back right here in front, which would have been also a good idea. 
just to show actually, because, okay, this is the side of the hole, this is where you want to put the bike, and things like that, because that's like at least 20% of your product. We worked on it. We worked on a prototype on top of it. So we put that we put that bike in there like before it was like a test. So we put the bike in there just to show you how it fits when a bike sure. is in there. Yeah, you put it there, but you didn't yeah, 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 yeah. right there. <laughs> it would have been very nice that you entered. Oh, yeah. We have that there. Yeah. Thank you. Any other questions? Thank you, group two.